Now at six, this is big news. Tennis superstar Serena Williams gearing up to say goodbye to the sport that made her a household name. CBS 4's Jim Barry joins us now with more on the announcement and how those close to her career are reacting. Jim? Well, guys, Serena Williams does not want to use that word retirement, but she does acknowledge that her legendary tennis career is now winding down. And the coach up launch her and sister Venus to stardom told us today that on the mountaintop of women's tennis, Serena stands alone. Have fun with it. Have fun. Come on. Come on. Rick Macy remembers the first time he did these kind of drills with Serena Williams 31 years ago on a rundown court in Compton, California. The rest, as they say, is history. Compton, California to U.S. Open champion. Serena and her big sister Venus both achieved number one rankings. While Venus became a champion, Serena became a legend. In Macy's eyes, the perfect player. She has to serve. She has the power off the ground. She's big. She's strong. She's fast. She checked every box. But at the end of the day, the mind controls the body, and Serena Williams is the mentally strongest tennis player ever to play the game. Now, after winning 23 Grand Slams, the sports icon reveals in a Vogue magazine cover story that she'll soon step away from the sport, which has made her rich and famous. While playing in a U.S. Open tune-up event in Toronto, Williams described what she calls the light at the end of the tunnel. And explain to me what, what the light is to you, what the light represents. Freedom. Yeah. I love playing, though. It's, it's like, it's amazing, but, you know, it's like, I can't do this forever. Now, the mother of a five-year-old, Serena says she may want to grow her family and focus on other interests like business and philanthropy. There are a lot of people watching. I don't want you to be nervous about this. I'm a little okay? bit nervous, especially with hitting with you. Well, I don't I blame you for that. Yeah. You know. A few years ago, Serena was my gracious doubles partner in a charity tennis event before the Miami Open. She became the tennis queen who never lost her common touch. Names again? I'm Venus. I'm Serena. So what'd you think? Not losing sight of her humble beginnings portrayed in the movie King Richard. Her father's improbable dream turned into reality. Now, at age 40, Serena is poised to take on the next chapter. And I think she's just getting started. And when you're that competitive, she wants to win and dominate and everything. So I think the best of Serena Williams is yet to come. And I think Rick Macy is exactly right. Now, Serena's final match could come at the U.S. Open in New York, which, of course, begins later this month. But I'm hoping she sticks around at least until next March and plays once more at the Miami Open right here in town. I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 News.